welcome to another Mannequin Madness tutorial. My name is Rose and today I'm going to show you how to assemble a mannequin. Um, so before I start, I want to show you the different ways that they usually put mannequins together. And these are the most pop popular ones we've come across. So there's one type that looks like this, where the hole is like a letter T and there's a flat kind of metal bar. And all you have to do is just line up the flat part and insert and push down like that. Um, there's another kind that's more um, kind of like a twisting motion. So you turn it and you'll see that it's like a letter I with a circle in the middle. Um, and the arm part looks like this. And what you do is you just line up the hole so that it's totally flushed with the body. And once it's flushed and there's no space in between, then you can start turning it into place. And there's another kind that's very similar to this one where you pull up, pull out, um, except this one is more like a keyhole shape and the one on the arm is like a circle. And you just line up the circle, insert the circle into the hole, and push down into place. Um, there's another kind that looks like this, and it's magnetic. And all you have to do is hold one part of the mannequin down, grab the arm, and pull up and away. So you want to do kind of like an up and out motion. Um, and what you want to do is put the, there's two uh, pins and you want to put the top pin in first in the hole and then you can put it into place. Um, and you want to watch out when you're putting clothes on um, the mannequin that you don't get the clothes stuck in between the seam. Um, and also you don't want to get your finger caught in there because it's really strong. Um, other types, there's also this kind which is like a square peg. Um, and it's not just for hands, you'll find it everywhere. Sometimes you'll see it in the torso. Um, so you just push it back into place. There's also this kind where, similar to this, you twist, except it's more of another keyhole type shape. So you'll come across that. Um, and then when you're putting a mannequin together, you always want to start with the base, if it has a base. Uh, and there's also different types of bases that you'll come across. This one in particular um, is screwed in with a Phillips head, um, but sometimes it's a flat head, and sometimes you have to use um, an Allen wrench. So this one goes into the foot of the mannequin, and sometimes you get a rod like this which sometimes slips into that and you can tighten it into place and then this actually goes into the calf of the mannequin um, and today the one we're working with attaches with an allen wrench um, and this one is actually already screwed in but there's a screw in there and place this here um, so when you're putting a mannequin together, you always want to start with the legs. If you're lucky, they're already put together as one piece. We are not today. Today we're going to do, um, so when you have two parts, you want to start with the one with the hips. And then you take the other leg without the hips. And this one is kind of like a letter I with a circle. So you want to line it up. Wait till it's totally flush before you turn. And then flip it over. And this one goes into the calf of the mannequin. So just slide it down. Make sure it's stable. Um, and like I said, you want to make sure that this is 
totally um, lined up. So you don't want it like this, and you don't want it like that. You want it totally seamless, almost flush. Um, so then you do the torso. And it's the same thing. Line it up, make sure it's flush before you twist. And then this one doesn't have the arm attached yet. So you just, this one happens to be a screw. So there's no more space in between in the seam. And then put it in the hole and push down. Make sure all of the seams are in the right place. 